So I have a theory. I think uh, we were talking about like music earlier, and word. I wanted to mention. Word, word. I think Jack Harlow kind of cracked this code. Uh huh. He cracked I, a big code. Where I think he might be like the next Drake. That's what I wanted to tell you. I just want to know what your guys' opinion on that is. That too far fetched, or should I explain myself a little more? Um, before you explain yourself, by hearing you say that, I disagree with you <laughs> because he's at. He's not at obviously at where he's at, level, where he's he's at right next. now. Where he's at right now is Jeezy. No, nah, Jeezy level, nah, that's and he's surpassing it. He's surpassing it because Jeez. of his of white. his raps. No, because of his raps. And and nah, if it's this to time, me, he's like where Drake was was best I ever had type shit. Nah. that's why I look at. Jack he hasn't Carlo. done that yet to me. I feel like he has, even bro. though even though like his songs are popping like this, like that man his beat selection, like he has one of the best beat selections right now. Yeah, and like the only reason why the I character see that, he is is building up to like and. Like it's it's crazy, dog. Like it's po- he's get popular right now. The only reason why I think he's the shout next out DJ Drake. Drama from discovering that fool. <laughs> the only reason why I think he's the next Drake, gangsta grills, is because like he's he's been able to tap into like a market. The reason why Drake is so great as far as like hip hop rap, I think most of that market came from that little Nas X, son. No, nah, honest. Well, that too, <laughs> but I'm saying like Drake. Has this ability where it's like rap heads will look at, listen to him, but he also has like the female audience. Whereas like females, a lot of rappers, do, lot of rappers nah, have that, bro. Nah, a lot no, of rappers don't. have that. I think we can all agree, majority of like like females on the daily basis, they would rather listen to Drake than Kendrick. Or like pure hip hop is mostly like a male do dominant audience. I'm being real. That. I'm not saying there's not. Don't do I'm that. I'm not saying there's not, don't but I'm, that. I think. David, no. Listen, I'm gonna throw a wrench. Don't be in sexist theory. like that. David. All right, what is it? What is it? Because I don't think like you can't do that. And I'm not saying. I'm yeah. saying majority. Like, like who would you say majority of fans of Eminem? Let's just say Eminem. He's a rapper. Uh huh. Would you oh, say is male or female? Both. No. Yes, it majority, is. Majority, like, all right, what is it? It's majority, not 50-50. Majority is male. It's not 50-50. I would say There's a lot Drake, of females that listen Drake, to that, man. I would say Drake is more 50-50. Same with uh, Jack Drake Harlow. Is, Drake, I think Drake has more females. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why he's uh, pop, Like, his streaming number yeah. is popping. Singing. He sings. That's what I'm saying. But, like, he has, like, that, that, he has, sings, a, though, more, he has, he has a more, he uh, has like, a more audience, whereas, like, other, like, pure hip-hop, it's it's kind of like it's very like niche. Yeah. They have a niche audience. Now, so it's, I don't think it's that far fetched to say. I think the gener I think the generation now made it like that. Cause I think in the past, like as growing up, it was new, it was all the same, like the same level. Like girls and guys, they vibe the same. Like the same they music. love the same. But you know shit. why? That's true. I do. But I think streaming is what made that gap kind of like. It was just like a bunch of different artists. You yeah, see. because now we have more access to artists. I mean, whereas back then we you're were right. listening to what like In record way, labels pushed out. You're right, radio. Pops. You're right. You know what's crazy though? Because it, it goes that, back to MySpace. Huh? That Jack like can rap, rap, and like that's po- getting more popular now. Like yeah. he can rap, rap, like, but I don't think it's really his raps, bro. It's his B selection, man. No, the last let me tell you, let me tell you my theory why. All right, all right, go. He's a, I'm not saying he's a rapper. He's a rapper, but no, no, no. That, that's not. not rapping, that's not like, my theory. That's not my theory. I oh. think like he can rap. It's just weird that like you know he's like a rapper, rapper. Uh huh. Like or, or he he has bars, you know. Yeah. Instead of just like I guess uh, I don't know, just like you know trap music or whatever. Yeah. It was popular like oh. this past decade, but I think the reason why is because he's white. You think that, so? That, that's He's a big, more that's marketable. A, that's a big market. Oh, yeah, that, that's true. That's, that's a big true. market. That's why I had to. That's why I had to say Jeezy, bro. I actually had a debate because with like, Jeezy was at the time everybody loved him, bro. Mm. Yeah, they did. Not me, not me, but people did, bro. And the, he I was had a lot of this, female fans. He had a lot of female fans, bro. He still true, does. He to fell this off day. Like pretty bad. He, no, I, but I still think they listen to him, bro. Probably. But I, well, I'm not saying base, I was, yeah. bro. But yeah, but I think I had this conversation. I didn't get it, bro. I didn't get it. I had this conversation with, like, someone recently where I was like, it's kind of crazy how, like, I don't know if it's, like, media or what it is, but, like, how media, like, tends to promote the lighter skin. They choose that's who's next. Yeah, they choose who ne- who's next. Like, industry, like, kind of like little Nas X, like, industry baby. That's why, son, it made sense to even get on a record like that. 
All right, so your theory is that he's white, not because... It's easy. It's mar- more marketable to, like... I mean, white people, obviously, like... That's true. But I feel like... That's true, it, like... It's just, like... Yeah. He's, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll give him credit on the other end. He may be white, but he does... No, no, he, he does. I think he's a solid rapper, the, yeah. Definitely in the black community like that, with, yeah, like, yeah. the rapping-wise, and he can spit. But my thing is, I think he also has that female appeal. That was my... That was The my, female yeah, appeal came that. later, though. Yeah, oh, no, because no, no, he no, had no, like no, a no. glow up kind of. Because yeah. he was like, he was like, yeah. At the beginning, at the beginning, what's popping? I remember hearing that shit. Yeah, he wasn't like fresh and shit. Like he was no, like no, a no, tic- that was a TikTok banger, low key. That shit, well, that shit was low key. Like it was different to me, and I was like, oh shit, his voice, his tone, like you know, I listen to that, like you know, like right. different white rappers have that, like they say their R's, like come on, son. Yeah, like, but I feel like now he kind of has like point. he kind of has that touch where like. If you have him on as as a feature, your song's gonna pop off, and that's why I meant like where I compared him to like Drake, where Drake, if he's on your feature, he pretty much like he got you rich. Like the song's gonna pop off but just because ne- Drake. But is he on never the song. did that. No, he I'm never, saying like oh. in the future, I feel like that's where he's gonna be at. Well, you can't say this about Jack Harlow now because I feel like he it, came like, out with a song. No, by himself. the only reason why I think uh, it's just like a theory. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I think he might have that like touch is because he can. Get more of an audience. I feel like it's it's fifty fifty on them. He's helping them out, but he's also helping himself out to stay relevant in the in that. Well, that's what everyone. That moment, that's what everyone does. in that moment. But people don't know how to do that sometimes. Like that one. People from, don't use it right. What's that guy's name? Smiley, the Drake oh, song. From Drake, yeah. yeah, the Drake dude. I mean, from Toronto. It's called Smiley. I think that's his name is Smiley. Smiley. He, uh, damn, what's that song? What's that uh, song? Yeah. He's like he sings like in a high pitched voice. Wow. Like, album, no, it's just a single. He just has like a feature. Like nah. Drake was just, but he like no one knows. There's a lot of there's a lot of like singles Drake's out there. Favorite artists. There's, really there's too yeah. there's too many singles out there. There's a lot of there's a lot of Drake singles. But he's out like there. A, he's from Toronto, that's why. Yeah, but he's not like he's not Over an OVO. Over the top. That's he's, the name of the song. Over he's not an OVO. He's not an OVO though. I think he is. I probably heard OVO. I probably heard Over the Top. I don't. Yeah, it's Over the Top. Yeah. Like, well, why do you think that Jack Harlow has like a Big female audience, or why are you saying that? Like he's kind of like the new like hot thing. Like I, mean, I feel I f- like I see him having a little bit of a run, but like, do you think it's like long lasting, or maybe am I am I look, going into the look, hype that he currently to I mean, add no, to I that run, man? That run. last single, that sample, just dog. I'm telling you, this the Fergie past, one, the Fergie, this past yeah. fucking the homegirl. Before I even knew this man had a snippet coming out or whatever the fuck, the homegirl was like, "Oh my god, I can't wait till Friday." I, I can't hear this. I can't wait to hear the song. I'm like, yeah, because he pr- he posted it on he TikTok. He posted, but I did not know about it until yeah. before the day like it came. Off. And then, oh shit, it's glamorous. Nobody has ever thought of that. This man's beat selection is stupid. But you know what? Yeah. I love a, the, that's I a lo- trend. All like the stuff the like early 2000s, yeah, uh, 90s stuff is like being sampled and stuff. Like a lot of people are doing that. Like, uh, oh no, no, that's yeah, bro, he's going at that's the, the new. Nostalgia. That's the new beat. Like, oh, bro, that's. Samples are old already, dog. No, no, no. But no, that's but the like, new beat, like, style right like now. How, like, trap is over. Yeah, yeah. It, no, yeah. The guitar beats are over. This is more... This yeah, is it, That's what's happening now, again. Yeah. Like, yeah. You gotta get a sample from a popular. way different. And I yeah. love hearing Wheezy on those beats. Yeah, and I think, like... I feel like it happens generations. Like, people in the 2000s would sample from, like, the 70s. Yeah. And now it's just kind of, like... Dude, it's been if you think about the 2000s, it was 20 years ago. Well, bro, now people are sampling from that 2000s yeah, era. Yeah, and that, I feel like even in movies, like back. nostalgia has kind of been the thing. If you think about movies, like TV shows, they're bringing a lot of nostalgia. Like like Spider Man, they yeah. brought back the old Spider Man. Yeah, freaking yeah. um, what's it called? Like the Sonic movie that just came out. Like I, like I was, we all played I, that game as a kid. Yeah, yeah. They're bringing like I love all this. I love Knuckles. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Did you watch the movie though? No, I only watched it's the first fire. one. Just the first one. Fire. Second one's fire. Fire. You guys gotta watch it for free. Yeah. But um Yeah, just like Pop Smokey right, sampled I'll, I'll, that. I'm gonna say this. Uh, if we were producers, I would sample two thousands. I would too. That's what yeah. that's, well, the new that's wave. why that's like, the new wave that's right why now, that's like what I'm saying. when I hear this shit, boom. And you know, uh, when I hear a sample, I have to go back to the old one. So I remember when my me and my peeps on Sunday, this past Sunday, we we bumped the old joint. That shit was that shit felt a bigger vibe like that's one thing that's one thing where a producer and a rapper if they use that sample in a perfect way that shit 
can take you back. And that's where the song hits. Like, that's where it touches me. Who else has done that? Saweetie so did that with the Yin Yang Twins. Yeah. She yeah, but I all, her her songs, yeah, yeah, all her songs. Yeah, but I don't. I know, but <laughs> it doesn't it, touch me like that. It happened. It happened. The, yeah. first the first one is the only one. The two yeah, short one is the only uh, one that touched me. Lotto, but yes. Lotto's yeah. song with Mariah Carey. Uh, she brought Mariah back. I try on the radio. I try then, to, like, you know, above it, but nah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's I her think best, yeah. you know, that's for females. Like, at least we know where the trend is going. Maybe, but yeah, you get me, you get me. Those are like pop songs right now. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Like, and French actually used some some hard classics too, like yeah, yeah. on some new ones. Yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, so who who would you say is like the guys like like the new guys now that you think will like carry out like the future? The Gunners, the little babies. Um, Drake is not Drake is not in there, right? They no, can't, no, we're he, not including. He's not. He's not in there anymore. Like we're not including Drake, the Cole, ES, Kendrick, the ES, or yeah, yeah. yeah, the Fabio of, Florens. But I like Fabio. Tory so Lanez is still in there. Oh no, no, Tory Lanez is not in there because he's OG already. He's already OG. Yeah. He's already OG. Um, but do you think like there's like kind of like a gap in hip hop right now? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Lil like Durk, they're, they're like, like decent artists. Like Lil Durk can't be Lil Durk's not like this. Lil Durk is a um remastered. He's been out for the past fucking when we yeah, were in yeah. high school, bro. Yeah, he's been out for a while. So, yeah, Chief Keef, yeah. I've been listening to that man since we were in high school, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I can't really say him right now, even though he changed, he switched up his flow and all that. But he's still like kind of like, yo, he's hot. He's, he's like hot right now. Yeah, he's like. I feel Drake. like he's like a Drake in nah. that no in oh, that nah. drill like in that little bro. I'm telling you like. In that little world right there. I think the reason why... Chicago shit. I yeah. I think the reason why there's a gap in music is because, like, now there's, like, a longevity to, like, people's career. Before, no one really had a long career. I think because of streaming. I think streaming is what people, but, like, keep people relevant. What do you mean? What you, like, or how are you imp- interpreting, like, that I'm saying I that there's a gap? I don't think so, Pops. No, the reason why there's a gap is because, like, it's kind of like... I'm going to compare it to basketball. It's kind of hard to make a new face of, like, NBA when LeBron is still playing really, really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I, I mean? Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of hard to, but, like... But, Pops, LeBron is playing good, but you still got these other yes, players. but they're never going to, like... They're still behind them, but they're, they're, still, they're still back there. Because, like, like let's just say, like, because LeBron's legacy is so fucking great. Yeah. It's hard to compare, like, a newer guy because LeBron's still in the league. You're going to look at all his... It's like, it's Word. trying to compare, like, let's just say... Like, someone that's hot right now. Like, we'll go back to, like, let's just say uh, fucking, like, Lil Baby. Uh. It's hard to compare Gunna as, like, a top, uh, Lil Baby and Gunna as a top rapper because yeah. Kanye's still bringing out shit. Yeah. Drake is still putting out shit. And you look at their but, totality, but, and you're like, bro, like, he, they're not better than, like, him or Kendrick. Word, like, word, That's word. why I think there's such a gap word. in hip That's hop. why when we say who's the GOAT, I'm going to say this. Let's put our GOATs in generations now. Yeah, I feel like let's do that. Let's do that with everything now. Because now, let's say Michael Jordan ran this era, Kobe ran this era, and LeBron ran this era. Yeah, let's say. But the thing is, like, let's just let's say Tupac ran this era. Him and Biggie. I'm gonna have to put. I'm gonna have to put fifty for a little moment. See, but that's what I'm saying. There's like short. Yeah, he yeah, he did. He had his run for a little moment. Like every. Everybody that was rapping at the time, like he took it over. Yeah, so like, yeah. 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 Oh. So that's what I'm saying. There's nothing of that now. Yeah, because it's just the like, thing is because like, like everybody had everybody like, passed the no torch, one. bro. Everybody yeah. passed the torch in this generation, dog. Where it's like the torch is still like on like the Drake. torch is still going. Yeah, like Drake is still like expanding his career. Yeah. Kanye Weezy passed his. the torch to Drake for sure. Yeah, yeah, and like he's kind of like Weezy's kind of like Jay Z, Jay Z, yeah. Jay-Z and Weezy passed the torch to uh. And Kanye. You got to put Kanye in there, too. Yeah, and that's what I said. Yeah. Kanye. You got to put those three yeah. past the torch to Drake, dog. But that's what Did I'm saying. They're still own, having, so. hot, like, hot, like, I mean, Kanye, like, having decent like, runs. Jesus, he just won Christ. Grammys that's and shit. The, that's probably the smartest shit I've ever said, son. What? Because that's why this son is that big, dog. You got those three artists, like, yo. Yeah. yeah. Yo. But, then, but the thing who, is, There's period. nobody this era. That's what I'm saying. And, like, people are, like, this. I guess, like, coming from, like, Coachella, like, because I was looking at it, and it's like, bro, there's nobody. They can't get nobody good at Coachella. Nah, they can't anymore, bro. They, the weekend, and people are like, I don't know how you guys feel about the weekend. 
Oh, I, I love the think weekend, he's that though. good of an artist. I love the weekend, like, but he's oh, not he's that not, great. He's not I love a, the weekend, but yeah. I wouldn't go Coachella to They're see the weekend. They're trying to put yeah. him as a headline. Headline. Yeah. Yeah. He's not. Yeah, yeah he would have yes. been the biggest artist exactly. there. But there's nobody under him or like competing with him. Like, who? Who's like a rapper? Like, yeah. Maybe they just didn't want that crowd to. No, nah, they, they just didn't, they didn't, just didn't want that crowd to I mean, yeah. Travis choose. Scott. I think Travis Scott has like. He's. Yeah. I would say, but the thing is, he got canceled. What so they he, didn't want Travis Scott to perform because they thought it was gonna be a big mess again. Because if you would have like, been uh, fucked up if they yeah, that but shit, if you think I about it, like they did. Let's say if Honestly. Travis never got like canceled, yeah, he'd probably be, be on that list with like Lil Baby. Like he's like but he's, he's bigger probably, than Lil Baby. Yeah, his, Travis Scott's saying. bigger than Lil Baby. But like he's probably Travis like Scott's t- bigger than I know. But I'm saying he's top tier compared to those guys. But you don't put Travis high enough but take with this. like Drake and all. Travis Scott ain't even a rapper, rapper like that to me. Yeah, I don't yeah, feel like he got true. bars. I don't think I feel like he can freestyle. No, no, but he makes hits though. He makes like, hits. Yeah, he makes hits. I don't know, but he makes it. But the thing know? is, I don't. The thing is, like, like say for instance, like Drake, he will try to put other artists on, like people that don't know. But they they both do. But then, like, he kind of like gets the shine from it though. The, the the Jake Coles, the Drakes, the Kendricks, the um, they all have to put. The other ones on. They have to. I mean, I see Kendrick kind of trying to put Keem on. Kendrick yeah, put a lot baby of people Keem. on, bro. Yeah. Oh, wait, I mean, he did. He put a lot of people on. Yeah, yeah. But they a just, lot of people they just on. Let's like, go back to yeah. high school now. Like, we didn't know a lot of people, bro, because yeah. of these fools. Yeah, so I don't know. I, mean, I feel like put TD, but, yeah, yeah, TD, like, they had a bunch of people that yeah. put us on, for sure, in the L.A. game. But these rappers were supposed to put the younger generation on. I don't know. I just it, like it was like a tree. There's a tree. Like there's a tree where shit. There's a big tree since what the nineties, bro. I mean before that. Before 80s. I, I, I didn't want to yeah. go back because not a lot I can't. Of like yeah, there's not a lot of people. Like from Dr. Dre, his tree is still going on, bro. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Dre tree. Snoop, Eminem, Fifty Game. Like, it's just like, Kendrick, it's just going. Anderson Pack, like, bro, yeah. it's still going. Yeah, yeah. And I just mentioned, like, that. Those are the main ones, but there's, like, a million more. And he's not the only one that has that tree. Right. Imagine the ones that are, like, the OGs that are Jay-Z. But Jay-Z has, like, a little weird one, dog. And I can't say that Kanye came from Jay-Z. That would be Dame Dash. I mean, like you, yeah. you see what I'm saying? But, I mean, he did kind of put Kanye on because he, when he got on his out, al- he produced for his album. Yeah, and that's where he everybody wanted to like work with Kanye. Damn, bro, bro. Yeah, and then he started you know, rapping. I've seen that documentary, he been making shit with rappers before. Yeah, I mean, do you want to say that because it made him, it put him in that light that yeah. he should be in that? Jay-Z and then he shit? got him. He got him on his album too. So. Uh, Jay Z was on. He was Kanye's. rapping on. I mean, vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Shit, but you get what I'm saying. Like, yeah. should Kanye be from that Jay Z tree, or should Kanye be from that Dame Dash tree? I mean, I don't think Dame Dash has that much. Like, he's just yeah. like a business. Yeah, Rock, Rockefeller. That's why he's not successful. Yeah, I would probably put him closer to he's, Jay. I mean, he signed art. He signed a b- couple artists, bro, that we know, Ooh, but they though, failed. That's like they failed, yeah. and they their independence did way more. The cur- he signed currency at one point. Okay, yeah, but he signed did he like, at one point. He signed like you know, like but, rappers like that, like a but small, they they did took off without Pizza, him, like those rappers, like you know, no, they didn't take off, but their underground shit took no, off. I'm saying like after they without yeah, him, after, yeah. after they didn't left him, of course. And then it's like okay, I see like uh, Atlanta, like Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane, like Gucci sprouted Mane's all these people. Gucci Mane's tree is crazy. Yeah, it's like Future, uh, Young Thug, and then it's like Gucci Mane's tree is. Shit's that was crazy. like Lil Uzi for fucking Lil Baby. Word. Uh, for Word. Gunna. Word. And then it's like all those copycats of that. Word. Obviously. Word. But, it's like but the, I think the biggest one is Weezy. The Weezy tree. Weezy. No, I think he he has like the like the most success. I think out of out his. of out of this the new generation. Yeah. Who who are you saying? Weezy. Are you think? Are you saying like Drake, Nicki Minaj? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay. He, he brought yeah. He, I think yeah. he had the jackpot with like a like star this, level. Out of this, star, uh, like from but where they started. Had more years, because I think Lil Baby will have that status. I mean, years. 
I mean, he already had his. He he's still having his run, bro. So I don't see why not. Because who put on Lil you know? Baby? Was it Young Thug? Young um, <sighs> first song I yeah, I think heard Lil, by Young Thug was yeah, because Young Thug was giving money to like Lil Baby. Baby. Yeah. What? Oh. Probably the little yeah, 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 yeah. Bitch, I'm a little baby. Drake, yeah, Drake. Well, I feel like he was gonna pop off without Drake, regardless. I don't know. I was, that was probably the first song I've ever heard of them. Me too, but I feel like everyone. Why, why, why? Bitch, I'm a baby. Yeah. It was, was funny. Was Did you see that interview? That. He was like, "Where'd you get?" Tour. He was like, "Where'd you like? What made you come with?" He's like, "I don't know, but that was the best thing I ever did." Huh. Like, why, why, why? Bitch, I'm a little baby. Yeah, I was serious at a point. But yeah, so, yeah. Jack Harlow. Nah, I'm gonna <laughs> definitely listen to that album. Drake, he's the go to this generation. J. Cole, he's the go to this generation. Kendrick and TDE, he's the go to this generation. Kendrick's not TDE anymore. I know, that's why I said Kendrick and TDE. You think but he's, he's going to come out but with an album? Yeah, but he can, still, he's, he can still come out because I, um, I seen something. He's going to come out with a, um, duo, a duo. A what? A duo with someone, man. Because he hasn't put on an album in like five years, so I feel like yeah. It was just and five Q's years. coming, Matt. Q, Schoolboy Q yeah. comes out every three years. Matt Q's coming back. He just dropped a single. Because I feel like Kendrick is already like, I wouldn't say like he's like a hot artist now. You know what I he mean? Could like, hot, he, could, he could be right a hot artist. He could be a hot. Yeah, like yeah, he could drop that single and it'll be hot again. Yeah, no, but, but I'm saying, but like, that black he's Panthers, not like, like he's not like Drake Panthers where he's came. dropping all the time. And yeah, like where he's kind of like. Like, his era's already kind of, like, it's been five years, bro. So, like, his era is, like, 2010 to, like, twenty. Well, bro, he, he could do anything, that's man. That's I think Drake takes advantage of because he's taking all that space that uh-huh. Kendrick could be, like, I guess, you know, dominating more, or whatever. Yeah. Like What you guys got to know is that. He leaves space for Drake. Everybody he, knows that. Everybody knows that Kendrick's a better rapper. A very yeah, lyrical rapper. A, so, so we, we could give Kendrick. The time, whatever time he needs, bro. I know, but, but when I'm he saying, comes back, just know everyone, everybody's gonna have that Kendrick that in his drive. on the ear. Yeah, bro. Like, what's that? That one song that he didn't even say shit. He just said, um, what was he saying? He just said bullshit, and he didn't even rap on it. And everybody like really went to that song just because of it. What is it? I don't know what song. He said, bitch, I'm some, bitch, I'm some. He says some like you know, that with the king. The one with King or what did he say? Are you talking about that one? Which one? What did he say though? Um, Bitch, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's just get it. But he did. He has a big. What did he say? What did he say? Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Come on, bro. No, I'm not. Look, I'm not denying that. But I'm talking. Whatever he says is hot, bro. Whatever it says is hot. Listen, listen. I'm saying, as far as like his era, I don't think like I think it's done already. Like. He's already cemented like his his thing. Like anything he puts out now is it's just extra. But he's still gonna be there with Drake, bro. You cannot move him. No, because his yes. like his prime was the same time as Drake's prime. Like Jake, that's why they always had those three because that was their era. Drake got a, Drake is like Drake he, was a star first. So yeah, it doesn't but even matter. He was a star first, but and he had a better and music, he had a better um his best music he had a was better co host. Better, uh, his best management. music was coming out at the same time as Kendrick's best music. No. Yes. What the hell were we listening to when Nothing this was the same? best best I ever had came out? What were we listening to by Kendrick? No, but no. Listen, I'm saying he was art. That's when he became a star, right? But he when became he a was star when we we're yes. But I'm saying his best years were the same time as Kendrick's best year, like Good Kid, Mad City, like To a Pimp to a Butterfly. Like all those things, and then like Drake was putting out like "Take Care," nothing was the same. You know what I mean? Like if you're reading this, it's too late. Like, but like he stopped that damn where Drake kept going, and he had like more life, and then what a time to be alive. And I mean, that's, he was still on the singles. There were still yeah, but I'm saying that's why. But I'm saying like his like his relevancy died down. I don't think relevant. Re- 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 he's not relevant oh, um, right now, bro. If I mean, you want to be yeah, relevant, I don't think that, that, ma- still, I don't like, think that matters anymore. He was with everybody during all that time that, like, all the gap that, like, Kendrick left. Guys, you guys got to know that rappers don't even have to drop like that anymore. 
But at the same time, I mean, if you want to keep but your now, audience, like you yeah, guys are saying, yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, Drake I mean, is still popping. Kanye is still popping because they're consistently still putting out music. Whereas Kendrick, like, literally diehard Kendrick fans are the ones still listening to his music right now. And that's the same with Lloyd Banks, man, because that, that man's... <laughs> No, nah, like, like he's uh, one of those too. He's one of those. Like people really listen to him, but he's really like he's not really trying to be in that light like that. He's rapping his shit, and there's a point can, where he Kendrick drops his shit kid too. So yeah, that's true. He has a family, but Ooh. he seems like Kendrick. yeah. But the thing about Kendrick though, I feel like he's also life, very son. calculated. Like he's not gonna put out work if it's not good. Put out I, he's the type where it's like if I'm gonna put something, I that's know how it's TD a works, bro. TD works like that, man. Yeah, it's quality over quantity. That's in my but the thing is Drake puts out a lot of in my mind, but it's still fire. In my mind, I saw. I think that's how TD created the roster. Like your time to shine, your time to shine, your time to shine, your time to shine. But he's not even TD no more, bro. Uh, I think that's why school he boy probably left. Schoolboy like, too. Schoolboy's turn now. Let's get it. I don't know. We'll see. I like how we started with Jack Carlo, and this is where. I like it. So is so <laughs> are we agreeing that is it so what do you guys think of it? You think he's gonna be the next Drake or no? I gotta see disagree. More from him. I disagree. I he's gonna be he's gonna be he's gonna be one of the grades, but no. I don't think yeah, now that I, now that we had this conversation, I feel like I'm kinda no. like No. No. And that, because that because why? Because Drake's gonna keep releasing shit. Yeah, that's, that's why. why. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You dig? Yeah. Let's go. And then it's like that's why that's what I'm saying, like Okay, that's what you're settling for. Like, I'm yeah. not. He's a good artist. Like, he's a good artist no, because like, that's the thing. Like, no one looks at Drake as like a pure hip hop. Like, as like, other but he artists. is hip hop though. I know, but no one looks at him as a pure like hip hop artist. He's kind of like a little pop. bit of everything. Yeah, pop. yeah, he's everything. That's, that's, that's how we look at. Like, I just look at like because like Jack Harlow's the hottest thing right now, and then like it seems like everything he's been putting out so far has been like he's a mix, bro. And it started from the what eighties, bro. So we'll and it see. just kept going, and it kept going. You didn't hear Tupac singing, especially because that leak that came Garou. out with Drake and Jer- the reason Get why me. I got it was because of the leak. That's that's why I came to that conclusion because I'm like, damn, literally Kanye. a leak came out and everyone's like talking Drake. about him. Travis, but that's what I'm saying. There's nobody else to talk about. That, that's that's true. that's that good. Word. That's it's true. Like, bro, we had like how you're saying, how, how many of those albums, like the J Cole album, the Kendrick album, uh. And uh, Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole. So it's like, at the same time, we had all that shit. Like, right. And now it's like, all right, we got, like, Jack Harlow's decent, you know? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it because, like, music's not that good right now that, like, I'm settling for Jack Harlow? Is that what you're trying to say? I mean, I, I just think it's too early to say for right. Jack Harlow because, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't really listen to his music like that, but everyone talks about yeah, him. That's he's why. Just like, yeah, he's just like, yeah. But it's like, things have changed, too. So it's like, TikTok generation and, like, albums right. are not, like... As like I guess as valuable as yeah. like a hit song. Like if you get your song popping on TikTok, then you you're pretty much gonna get like yeah. And albums any free. any artist can pretty much become popping like nowadays. I think it's like there's a lot more artists to choose from, but they're not like uh, not that very, like right. high caliber. Right. And there's not no competition. Like That's true. Everybody has their own fan base. You know. Right. Not competing for the same space, I guess. That's true. That's why you don't really see a lot of like people dissing each other. Or oh, and that's what I was gonna tell you guys. Pusha T was saying something, how like back in the day, if you diss somebody and like your diss went crazy, you know, uh-huh. it would end people's careers. Yeah. And now people don't hold that like value anymore. Either. Yeah, they don't. Right. The radio would if block it. I feel it. like it made Drake's career a little bit better. Yeah. Why do you think or why, he dissed them? That's and that like Loki started because Cause they'll be like, oh yeah, it's it's cool. Like I you know, I, I lost that one, but before it was like, let's bro, just say he's done for. He's bro, done bro, for. You know, bro. Let's just say they um. But I feel like it could also be a positive though. They're selective now. Like they're they're selective with what hip hop beef should be going on even more. Like you know, they love that shit so. They let it be. It went from Drake and Pusha to Kanye and Pete Davidson. For real, That's really what it is now. It's like Hollywood drama. It's not even like hip-hop drama. His name is Skeet. I don't know. I think... I don't know, because at the same time, I, I hear what you're saying about Pusha and Drake, but I feel like at the same time, it shows that, like, like from a positive, though, like, oh, like, Drake overcame, like, 
being exposed, saying that he had a baby mama and a kid, <laughs> and he's still fucking popping. So I guess there's a positive to like taking an L. Yeah. It was nah, it, like, he just took it, bro. He just took it and kept kept moving on, which but that which w freestyle should, was because, fire though. Which he should because he, there's still fans out here waiting for him to do shit. But so being don't back to back kind of ended Meek. Yeah, yeah, for a minute. Yeah. Until for a minute. Drake brought him back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Drake brought him back to life. Which I think was a week. Low key. I think yeah. Meek should have, like, kept, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like he, did, he ended his career for a while. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Damn. Yeah. Nobody was fucking with him. But I think, yeah, he brought him back. But I feel like Meek's kind of, like. That, like, made Meek, like. While that was oh, happening, like, yeah. Meek was beefing with Game and all that shit. Made it, made it even worse. Like, yeah. I want to see Eminem come out with the diss track for the game. Oh. Man. The game? So I feel like that'd be a lot better than Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. Well, think about it. Machine Gun, get, like, like, see, he, like, had to change genres, and now he's popping more in, like, rock and roll than he is in. You see it. Yeah. I see that shit. Yeah, that was a trip seeing that. I was a trip. Because I, I, like, began listening to Machine Gun Kelly at that time in high school. Really? I never first really messed with hard. That first mixtape was hard. And then Kid, he, Kid Cudi beefed it because they were... They both claimed the name Range, Rager, Range, Rager, yeah. Uh, yeah, Rager. Rager. Mr. Rager. Cleveland, they were both from, they're both from Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah, so they're both beefing it, but we know who, who had it first, bro. Come on. Cuddy. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Rager. But I guess it's a Cleveland thing. But yeah, that Eminem in game, that, it'll never happen, but hey. Hey. Hey, never seen 50 that. needs to fucking, or they need to cut 50 the check for the verses. For <laughs> But I feel like 50 has more. He has more hits. He does, way more. Yeah. Way more hits. Like 50 ended a, a shitload of careers. Like nah, he did. Did he? What do you mean he didn't? He did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He did. That's true. Jarrow. I really think about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, now he's doing it by memes and shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Bro, that guy's a fucking character on the internet, bro. He really is. Memes. You know what we should do? Like a after hours episode, we'll get like two artists, mm. and then we plan like our own like verses. <laughs> Let's do it. Like like, like say like, like say like he chooses Wayne and I choose fucking, mm. uh, I don't know name an artist Drake. Drake Wayne versus Drake, that'd be a good like one. a good versus. But I have to like we come with like our like yeah. like best possible Drake songs that I would choose, yeah. and he would choose like his best Wayne songs. Yeah, like ten or something. Kind of yeah, like ten and ten, and see like, and then you could, ju- you can be the judge who who has the better, who has the better like versus songs, without actually having a verses. I think that'd be pretty cool. Wasn't well, that one of their tours? The tour, the Wayne versus Drake tour. Yeah, but it was it was kind of a versus, but not really. They were yeah, performing. Yeah. No, I like, know. Yeah, so I was just like one. Yeah, yeah, they were going at each other. But that, that is a good one, Wayne and Drake though. I think that'd be a good one. You just had to choose your songs wisely. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching another episode of Shots Taking. My name is David. Here with Pat. Yes, sir. Landlord Jerry. Until next time, everybody. Good night. See ya. Farewell. Bye-bye.